Today we are looking at the last watch of a trilogy of watches lent into the channel by a very good friend of the channel named Peter. Now he wants to be anonymous, his name is Peter, but that's basically all I'm allowed to tell you guys. He's a really great guy with a great collection. He lent me three micro brand dive watches and it is time that I finally send them back to him. So today we are looking at Albany Watch Company. We took a look at Dorenzo. We also took a look at a Astor and Banks, probably my favorite out of the trio. Let's flip the camera and take a look at the Albany Watches Ama Diver. So Peter actually lent in three watches. This is the third of the trilogy that he has lent me. And I have to say, this is one of my favorites. I think the Astor and Banks that he lent in was amazing. I will put a link to that up above. I really fell in love with that watch. I really love the bracelet, the whole setup. Sort of a theme with him here. I see that he likes a sapphire bezel insert. Today we have Albany. This is the Ama Diver. And uh, Ama Divers are mostly women and they are Japanese skin divers. They dive for pearls, which is pretty cool. So this has a little bit of inspiration behind it. Uh, and Albany is, I believe, inspired by the owner's father's name or region where he is from in Australia. Now, I'm not 100% sure of that. So definitely, if you know the answer to that, please put it down below. But this is a pretty cool watch. And I like the packaging and everything that I see here, especially considering the price. So there's a wood box. It's maybe bamboo actually, and it has a little magnet enclosure. You get a watch roll, which has a leather string closure. And it is a four, I believe a four slot watch roll made out of canvas. It's signed the brand name right here, Albany. Again, really nice that they did this for the price. We're gonna to get to price pretty soon because again, the price is a major selling point of this watch. Unfortunately, this went to Kickstarter. The brand no longer exists, but Peter did send me something about this brand being, or this watch being revived. And I will put a link down below uh, for that if it does exist. So here's the watch, beads of rice bracelet, blue fume dial, sapphire bezel insert, all the things that I think are cool about this watch right off the bat. And then you're getting an extra strap. This is a gray strap. There's a NATO strap. There's a warranty card, extra links over here. And then you're also getting a little tool for your watch changing or strap changing pleasure. Uh, very nice watch roll, really impressive. So. Here's the watch and you can see that dial is sort of a blue, green, aqua blue fume. There is black, there is blue, there is green. Um, just a good looking, interesting, funky colored dial. And then you have a sapphire bezel insert. You get some of those same colors in the, the uh, bezel insert. Uh, you get a little bit of that color at the pip. That pip is loomed. In fact, I believe the whole entire bezel is loomed. Uh, this is a 300 meter dive watch. So you get 300 meters of water resistance. Inside this watch gets a Miyota 9000 series. You do not get a ghost state position. Of course it hacks and hand winds. That's because it is a 9039. 9039 is the dateless version of the Miyota 9000 series. So you do get um, no date, which of course I love. So it adds a lot of balance to the dial, which I like. Screwing crown, screwing case back. I believe the crown on here is loomed. I'm not entirely sure. So we will do, of course, a loom shot at the end and check this out. Before I go on, let's talk about price on this watch. When this Kickstarter started, when they started the Kickstarter, I should say, this was $299 on a strap. $350 on a beads of rice bracelet. That is an incredible price for this watch. Obviously there's a lot of 70s inspiration here. The beads of rice, uh, the sort of tonneau shaped case. You have aqua blue arrow minute hand that is loomed. Then you get sort of a, I think it's a black colored 
or it could be a very dark blue, but to my eye, it looks black. Our hand that sort of looks like a fence post that's slightly skeletonized. Then the second hand, very interesting, bicolored, so you get the same color as that minute hand, but it's also white and it looks like a uh, spear fisherman's spear. That's what I think it looks like, at least to me, at least to my eyes. Like I mentioned, you get a lot of color in the bezel as well. Uh, you have that aqua blue color that goes throughout the bezel. It's sort of a minute track. Can't really see it very well unless you really look at the watch. I kind of like that. It's a little bit of hidden color. Um, and, I, and I think it all looks and works really well together. Ama, there above the six o'clock, right below that, 300 atmospheres. And it just has the Albany uh, logo there and then the logo above that. So it just says Albany and then the logo above it. Everything is printed on. So you have a triangle at the 12 o'clock. Then you have a very interesting sort of fanged uh, indice at the uh, 9, 3, and 6 o'clock. I will do close up so you can see what I am talking about. Um, beads of rice bracelet, very solid, screwed links, uh, a typical micro brand buckle. Uh, it is signed with the brand name. You can see this has been worn, but uh, I believe that Peter is pretty gentle on his watches and this one is no different. And I think that, you know, I think he has a, a number of micro brand divers. Really nice case back on here. It's a little bit, uh, you know, risque, I guess, but uh, most of the AMA divers, as I mentioned, in Japan were women or are women because they still do exist. However, uh, in the beginning, very early on, the traditional AMA divers did not wear tops, so they are topless, and there is a sort of a portrayal of that on the back of this case back. I will do a close up so you can see it. And of course, there is a little bit of enamel in here. It looks really nice, feels very nice, smooth, which is pretty impressive. And of course, it is screwed in case back. You do get 300 meters of water resistance, as I mentioned before, so very nice. The uh, standard micro brand buckle, four positions of micro adjust. Of course, I would always like more. But again, this is only $350 on the beads of rice bracelet, so can't really complain about much here. I think this is a pretty nice watch for that money. The case back is smooth. It feels very, very nice. The case itself is all brushed. However, it's very nicely finished. So you do have a chamfered edge, but that chamfered edge is as well um, uh, brushed. So, you know, it's not sharp anywhere. It feels really nice in your hand. It feels like a nice, heavy, quality made watch. Now let's listen to the bezel action because the bezel action is actually very good on this watch. Super solid, very nice audible clicks. Everything lines up really well. There's really no play in the bezel, just a slight bit of play. Honestly, uh, I would say this is a tie with the Astro and Banks, but the Astro and Banks is a lot more expensive. And I think I prefer the bracelet on the Astro and Banks, but considering the uh, price on this, it's pretty amazing. And then you have uh, drilled lugs as well. Uh, out of all three of them, maybe the Astro and Banks would be number one because I just think it's cool. Also, it has a Salita movement in it and all that stuff. So it is a little bit higher end compared to this watch. Then there would be this watch, I think, in my list. And then that Dorenzo. I also reviewed a Dorenzo that he lent into the channel. That was not my favorite out of the three. Not a bad watch at all. I just had some design issues with it that I didn't like aesthetically. But other than that, uh, I thought it was a pretty cool watch. So let's throw it on my wrist and then do a quick loom shot and then wrap up the video. Great looking watch. Uh, I want to show it to you on my wrist because it actually looks really good on wrist. So. Uh, today I'm wearing my Eterna. This is my Eterna Royal Contiki GMT. This is a GMT version of their uh, of the Royal Contiki. Uh, not a true GMT, but it is an in-house GMT, and you do get to see that moving from the back. Uh, these are very affordable. I see them go for around a thousand dollars on eBay. I did get mine for a steal at six hundred dollars, but I was very lucky. So, look at this. That looks cool. It sort of reminds me of skin divers from, you know, the 1970s. 
maybe Alsa, uh, I think that's the brand, the, the uh, you know, Jaws watch, kind of reminds me of that a little bit, case shape wise, maybe not the bezel of course, because you have a sapphire insert here, which is loomed, we're gonna do a loom shot, probably a lot of loom on that dial as well, we'll see, I, I'm not 100% sure yet, but there you go, I have a seven and a half inch wrist, and you can see it fits really nicely on my wrist. This is a 41 millimeter watch. I'll do measurements really quickly so you could uh, get a grasp of what this is. Essentially, you have a true lug to lug on here because you do get female end links. Pretty damn good. Let's do quick measurements and then we will do that loom shot because I'm actually excited to see the loom on this watch. So, uh, as I mentioned, the case is 41 millimeters. So, uh, if you measure it, it is basically spot on at 41 millimeters. The lug to lug is a true lug to lug. As you can see, the uh, bracelet actually bends all the way back so you don't have any issues with fitment on this. Uh, 47.9 millimeters, the crown on here, a sizable 6.7. It's nothing too crazy for a 41 millimeter watch, but it's not bad. You do get a sort of domed box sapphire crystal, 12.7 millimeters thick for a 300 meter dive watch is very good. And it is a little bit beveled, as you can see when I move it to the side. I'll do close-ups of that as well so you can see what I'm talking about very quickly. Loom shot, then we'll wrap up the video. So the loom definitely is not disappointing on here. This is great. I mean, if you were able to get in the Kickstarter on this and you were able to buy one of these, I really do envy you. I think this is a really cool watch for the price. Loomed crown. Man, I'm sad that they are no longer making this watch. Uh, I don't think Albany even exists anymore. That's kind of sad. Now, uh, with that being said, I did mention that Peter said that they were bringing this watch back. I'm not sure if it's this company that's doing it or someone has bought the rights of this watch or, or making a reproduction of it or something like that. Probably not. It's probably the owner of the brand, but uh, I hope that's the case because that gives us the opportunity to get one. I think it's really cool. Um, the loom is great. As you can see, you have loom on the bezel, on those indices, they're pretty decently applied. That spear edge, that white area on the second hand is completely loomed. Really nice touch. Uh, the arrow and the, uh, so the arrow for the minute hands and the, of course, uh, hour hand, really liberally applied with loom. And then you have a very liberally applied um, crown. So lots of loom on this crown. And that has the logo of the brand. I think that is some sort of burned bird. It looks like a heron or something like that. Anyway, tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Sad they aren't around anymore, but someone's going to bring them back, I believe. So that is cool. Uh, I'm not sure if they're gonna be offering these at that price. That price of $299 is super impressive. I think there's like 350 for this on the beads of rice, and then it goes, it went up and I'm talking in present tense, but this is past tense, no longer available. But there was a signature series where you can get some straps with it as well, and that strap changing tool, which we just looked at, I believe that's what this is. And I think that was like around 400 bucks. All of that, any sort of iteration that you're getting it in, worth the money. Um, really nicely made watch, unfortunately no longer available. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys, please. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchpressblog, all one word. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.